All right, Bobolo Strix here, and it's Sunday. It's time for a lore rant, and it's an archives week. Maybe the final one? But let's take a look at it, and then we're going to discuss like Directed. we do. Fist long. Return if you have more fish. With the danger posed by the rogue Thragar, the great Amon Thul ordered the rebellion to be quelled. And the Thragar hunted down until the threat was neutralized. However, the issue of earthen malfunction under the influence of the world soul's energies remained. And so a new solution was devised. The earthen of Khazalgar will relinquish their memories into an archive to preserve reported data and purge the influence of the world soul's energies. By initiating this protocol on a regular cadence, we will ensure the Thragar malfunction does not take hold again. To secure compliance, the Titans have programmed edicts into the operational earthen to regulate and enforce their discrete functions and efficiency. Thus, the Earthen will maintain the integrity of the Corway and the machines of Khazalgar. Should the edicts be broken, more permanent failsafes have been set into place. With these difficulties behind them, the Titans have declared that the World Soul remains dreaming, safely contained within the World Core, where no harm will come to it. I do not know why I commit this information to the Archive, why I risk its discovery in the future. Perhaps the World Soul's influence does not extend solely to the earthen. What we've learned here, it calls the entire history of Azeroth into question. What if... What if our history isn't what they said it was? So the Keepers stole our memories and let us believe that it was for our own good? That it was so we could continue to fulfill our purpose? No, not even our purpose. We built the greatest structures the world has ever seen, and they set us to become maintenance drones, just cogs in a machine. And it does seem that they did it to keep you complacent. Or obedient, following their edicts, and eliminating those of you they couldn't control. Those edicts? They were bonds of servitude, and we never even knew. And then when the Sundering happened, we were cut off from all of it, and Arcadis never returned to help us. Why didn't he return? Our entire history, our culture, held in that archive. I want my memories back. I want all our memories back. Damn the Titans. I'm starting to think there's more to the world soul than the Titans wanted us to know. That they had other plans for it, and Azeroth, than we were led to believe. What if all of us, even Arcadus himself, have been deceived? All right. All right. What have I been saying for so long? If you're an OG of the lore rant, you know I've been talking. I even started that whole series where I've been reading through the Chronicles... And being like, okay, so where did the Titans lie to us here? Where could they have lied to us here? So it's all come to this. 
the titans lie and earth and die. Mm, 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 mm. Now I'm gonna run this back and I'm gonna actually comment on parts, okay? And we're gonna discuss this. With the danger posed by the this too loud. All right. The rogue Dragar. Look, killed him. Killed him. Neutralized. Amantua ordered. Kill him. The issue of earth and malfunction under the influence of the world soul's energy. Okay, but there were still more Dragar. So they're like, okay. Okay, we, we just can't keep killing them. We gotta do something else. Lobotomies. You put your memories in here. When you start getting some free will. We have you be like, come to us, plug in, reboot, follow the rules, follow the rules, so we don't get more Thragar. That's why, basically, all the Earthen we're printing right now, Don, us, seem to be like almost Thragar already. Okay? They programmed the edicts. They were like, boop, boop, edicts, obey. These are, like, they made it to robots. And when they say permanent failsafe, remember when the robot popped out and we had to fight him? That's, boop. They're like, permanent failsafes. These earthen at the core way start trying to do shit on their own. Blow them up. Safely in the rings. Contained within the rings. While we're sucking her for power. And then this part right here. Like, I've been against Arcade. I've been like, dude, what is Arcade? What is he doing? What? He needs to do something. Then when he did this, I was like, we need him back. What we need to go into Uldaman again, Uldaman three, wake him up. Tear, Arcades, Ironia, wake up. What have y'all been doing? And here's the thing. Yeah, not your purpose, the Titan's purpose. Mm -hmm. Now here's the thing, right? She says the greatest structures the world has ever seen. The old god minions would beg to differ. Which is interesting. How much did they, like, really lie about? We're gonna get into it in the main series. Yeah, the edicts were freaking your collars. Now that's the thing. So the sundering happening, they were cut off from it. So pre-sundering, they were just vibing along. Then they were cut off. We know why he didn't return. He'd been locked in Uldaman for a long time. Then when he got woken up, we knocked his ass out. He's like, oh my god, I gotta go help the Earth. And who the fuck? Damn the Titans. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they had other plans for it to use for their machines and shit, it looks like. Yeah, even Arcade is. Okay. So. Let's dig into it again. So. The Titan Conspiracy is out. Everyone knows now. Everyone knows now. Finally. Finally, everyone is on board with the Titan Conspiracy. I'm not saying they bad. But they've been lying to us. They need to stop. Next week, I'm going to really dig into one of their biggest lies possibly.
but uh that's for next week but let's get into this one so titan conspiracies out are we gonna actually see arcadis tier i'm including iron eye in this now come to the side of the earth then is tier gonna be tears friends with the dragons we see tier friendly with the dragons they're immortals you know he's seen the error in the titans ways in some regard you know maybe he's gonna be like no, no no i'm gonna team with the mortals they got what's going on they know what's going on they're gonna do the right thing you know i got some power we got some titan juice they're gonna look at all sides the power of all all right and now we're gonna have Arcades maybe come back with his Earthen. The Earthen would be able to convince Arcades, like, yo, what's up? Maybe we'll unlock Earthen customizations for a more classic Earthen style. You know? And here's another thing, right? Because she's talking about the archives, the archives, right? I'm now starting to think, where do we go from here? Is, is there gonna be what happens in two weeks? When we get number six, is it going to be another archives or is it going to be Brent being like, all right, we're getting our memory back now. Maybe this quest line will start to change and we're, we're still getting the stuff, but we're doing stuff now. Like what happens next? Or maybe there's more to tell, but it does feel like Arcades is like, oh, there it is. There's my log. I don't know why I did it, but I'm doing it. Azeroth told me I, I got free will. That's the thing. Azeroth is given free will. And then that begs the question, right? We're, we are told yogg Saron caused the curse of flesh, which gave the earth and free will. Other things are given the earth and, and Rykul and the, the, the robots of the Titans free will, it seems. Maybe the old gods never did. Maybe the Curse of Flesh wasn't Yaxaron. Dun dun dun. And it was pinned on him. Well, when we start reading more of the stories, we'll get into that. But it's very interesting there. So. Are we going to get... I want Brent to get her memories back. And here's the thing, right? Because I was going through all, my, all the original ones. Because this could be the last one. I was talking, I went through my manifold one. Remember how I was talking about if I was building a thing around a planet, I'd cover the whole thing? Well, it looks like the, the world coal core covers the whole planet. And then the manifold is strapped to it. And that's what's doing all the Azerite juices. You know, that seems to be the power source. Because remember, they told us the manifold is a complex of machines forges and installations right whereas the world core is the thing imprisoning all right okay and then i had then so we talked about the manifold in the one we talked about the world soul crystals which the titans may be lying to the people about what they are but they do seem to hold up so azeroth makes these crystals these crystals radiate and then Azeroth can influence things with these crystals. Earth and God influence, get free will. Amanthul's like, no, 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 no. Eradicate them. It's still happening because we have them working near the core of the world. So it's like, all right, we're going to take their memories. All right. And I did have a whole Earth and what's next. Lorant, which is kind of related to this. We know Azeroth's the prime world soul. We assume the Titans are all world souls, but we see all the cosmic forces competing for world souls. So, what does it mean to be the prime world soul? The juiciest world soul, I guess. And when you read through the Chronicles, you can see it's like, the Void were just trying to get their own world soul. Order has had their world souls, apparently, going around. Amon Thule, the first Order world soul, or maybe an arbiter of the Order uh, thing himself. He may just be the Order dude. He may not even have been an... 
Maybe the original lie is that Amanthul is a world soul. And he's just like, nope, I'm the Lord of Order. That he himself. Alright. Now, where else we got? So we did that. Talked about the earth then. Alright, so that's done. So. This is really interesting to me. All right. Old gods, prisoners by the Titans. Azeroth, prisoner by the Titans. They got something in common. All right. So here, let's let's go over how the Titans roll up on a planet. Because when you when you read through the Chronicles, it, it kind of lays it out. So Titan, the Titans' planetary plan. Roll up to a planet. All right. We don't know if there's a world soul in it or whatever that we're gonna juice because it's really starting it's really hard for me to believe that all the titans are world souls now and they're looking for their brethren i know we do see it play out in argus with argus but some of the ogs are really making me question so here's their titan titan planetary plan they do, they do not follow starfleet directive Okay. They roll up to a planet. They're like, yo, subdue the elements. Boom. Lock them in. Elements, shut the fuck up. Then they build their machines all over to check and see if the planet has got any any uh, world soul in it. You know, what do they build for it? Can they look in first? Do they start to just juice a planet outright? Because we've seen Azeroth uh, eat the, the spirit element. Do Titans go up to planets and just start sucking them dry? You know, keep them going so they can, like, really farm them as a battery? Then it really makes you wonder, right? Sargeras goes around burning the worlds. Titans go around enslaving the worlds. Would you rather be burned or enslaved? You know, some people would rather be alive, you know. that's what, But both of these things are bad. You know, both of them are bad. So they they build their tech, they build their thing. Then they see, yo, are, is this a world soul that we can really juice up and maybe bring into the fold? You know, use their little magnifying glass to take a look. Then once they got it unlocked, they build their occupying force out of the very elements themselves. All right. And then... They're like, just in case, the boom button. If this planet goes off the rail, yo, Star Dude, blow up the planet for me. Hit this button. Star Dude, blow up this planet if it if it goes off the rails. And the Star Dude's like, aight, bro. Alright. Like, it really makes you want... Who do the Constellar work for? Because now we see them all over the place. We see a Constellar working with Helia. We see a Constellar working with the Jailer. Alright. Like, who who are they really for? Is my question at this point. Like, they kind of just all over the... We thought that the Constellar were like, yeah, no, Titans people. No, 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 no. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They kind of just, they, they go whoever. Whoever's paying them. Or hooking them up with power or whatever. So. More on that later. But let's, in this one, there's one last thing I really wanted to talk about. Or two last things I really want to talk about. What keepers are on our side? Freya? Freya seems to be our, on her side. We have Freya Sworn. I want to see her make a comeback. I want, in the next patch or two, especially if the the 11... Yeah, 11.32, if we do get this, like, world core patch or world area patch, like another Hollow er, er, uh, Azeroth area... I want to see the Freya Swarm be brought back into the fold. Brent is like, yo, 
Why have we been following these edicts? We banished these dwarves. The Freya Swarm were straight up locked away. She's going to unleash them. Like, yo, we have to get Earth and Druid soon. Because if you do the Earth and intro, you see them lock away the Freya Swarm. Specifically, like, if they can't be rebuted, we lock them up because they know too much. The Freya Swarm dug out a lot of the 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 world core area not the world core uh stuff for the manifold but like the interior the the core way the core way they dug out a lot of the area for the core way the freya swarm so they had to really because they probably got azeroth up okay because I think with Azeroth consuming so much of the planet's natural spirit, Azeroth is very life-based right now. She's got life in her. She's got void in her. She's got ordered locking her in. She's got light, it seems, in her. You've seen how much light can come from the world crystal. She does have some light in her. And... I mean, the demons, the demons are kind of like an outside force. It really seems, when you think about the demons and order, is they're really operating in our world, whereas life and death operate on their extra area, and then light and void operating on a, on a, like, an even higher tra uh, level. So it's like light and void on this level, life and death on this level, and then order and disorder on the, the, the physical realm. You know, I've, I've talked about that before. Mimiron. Mimiron's very Titan tech-wise. But I wonder how much he knows. Maybe we're going to see a turn on him and he's going to be like, bro, 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 bro. No, I'm pro-Titan. We're pro-Titan around here. And we see him and Odin team up. Because I think Odin is part, part of the fake news. We see him straight up. Be like, we're telling everyone this. I'm the prime designate. I don't trust no dragon. He was the only one that... He definitely may have more inside info from Amon Thule than the other Titans. Because he's the only one going off. When the other the, the Titan Keepers are like, yo, no, the dragons seem cool. He's like, no, absolutely no one. Titans right. Titans number one, obey. All right, Hoder, Thorum, we'll have to see how they 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 like because they're kind of like the children of Odin a little bit. Do they act like that because they team up with you in the Order Hall? Mother, she's not a Titan Keeper. Apparently, she's just like a a made thing, a, a thing made by the Titan Keepers or machine. But I would love to see Mother be on our side. Rodin, we saw him go. You know, he, he was very emo like Tyr. He was doubting what the he He lost faith in the Titans too. He lost faith in the Titans too. He was like, bro, I'm not down for it. I'm done. The Titans fucked up. It's fucked up. Everything's fucked up. I'm out. He kinda pieced out. He came back, but he was down and out. And then we have these heretics that went off. Somewhere, this mysterious land, the heretics, went off to Avalorin. Are they... Odin said, no, they'll probably die. They'll they'll take themselves out. We don't got to worry about them. What if they're thriving? What if they are thriving right now? Will we see this island? Is it where the Wrathy Empire is? Are the Wrathy Empire and the Titan heretics like, yeah, dude, we're, we're team... Did the Arathi go over and take out the Titan Heretics? Interesting. Interesting to think about. But. Now let's go over the last thing on my paper. Because I just wanted to lay it out. Because the Titans. The Great Liars. Amon Thul. High Father of the Pantheon. He's the big boss. He's the dictator. He may be just 100% order. Like how would it. Imagine Egg Amanthul. How did that go down? Who ordered him? Was he the first ordered? 
or was he the first printed out from Zareth Ortis and went out to do the bidding? All right. When you print a thing in Zareth Ortis, does it print out as a world? Uh, I don't know. No, 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 I don't know. I definitely think he is different. Imagine if the Shadowlands Eternal ones went riding around in, in our cosmos. Could they death make Death Titans? We see Art. He's a Death Titan. I got some more conspiracies between Sargeras, Argus, and the, the Jailer for another day. But Amanthul does seem to be... I don't think he was a world soul. Personally. Okay. I could be wrong, though. Sargeras, his general. Sargeras is basically Amanthul's number two, doing the, the battling for Amanthul. I could see Sargeras as someone like an Amanthul, fully ordered. And then when he starts to experience the other forces, his mind change. And that... You're, we'll we'll talk about the great my great... Sargeras conspiracy, Titan conspiracy. But he's the general. He's the muscle of this Titan crew. So you got Amanthul, Sargeras, okay? Agrimar seems to have come about later. Agrimar may be a world soul born. But Agrimar is like the soldier, the number two to Sargeras. That's how he comes out, okay? Then we got the next four, which I want to group together because you got Amanthul, big boss, head honcho. Then you got his number two, which is his muscle. Sargeras. Then Sargeras has got his lieutenant. Okay? So, Amatul maintains control. Sargeras is his muscle. Then you got Amatul's controllers. The, the, the Titans that are going to lock down these worlds. Okay? So you got Kazgaroth, Shaper and Forger of Worlds. Basically, in Prisoner. The... He is the jailer of this pantheon. He rolls up to a world, shapes it how he wants it, not how it wants to be, how he wants it, how Amanthul dictates to it. So he shapes the world, puts it all in order, makes his little armies, does his little thing. Then you got Norganon. He's the lore master. He's the, this is what we tell people, and this is what we don't. All right? So he's got the, all. He's, he puts the lies out there. All right, he controls the information that we're being told. That's that's Norganon. All right. Then you got Golganeth, Lord of the skies and the roaring oceans. He controls what's in the water. He controls what's in the air. That's right. I decide. I'm the Lord of the air and water. I'm the number one polluter. We. We gonna put our titan juice everywhere all right and then so norganon's title though keeper of the celestial magics and lore yep i keep the magic to us i don't get share it with y'all and i keep the knowledge to us it's ours i keep it and then anr the life binder and she may be a titan that's kind of like wishy-washy because she had a friend a loon which seems to be a a life landlord which does seem to be is like was a and r a world soul it really makes you wonder were these all world souls or did these did a lot majority of these come about from the realm of the titans born out all right maybe through worlds maybe maybe through worlds maybe that's how they are born but she's the life controller, okay? And she doesn't even have free reign. When she tried to plant a tree, Amanthul said, no, no. You control life how I tell you to do it. You put in that tree, ain't gonna be, the life ain't gonna be controlled. You know it, I know it. I'm taking that tree out, all right? But you see her trying, but she's the life binder. So she, is ba she does whatever Amanthul lets her do. He's like, okay, put a couple of a little trees. Spawn a little life. So the planet... So we got 
critters to run around it. All right, and that's all she does. She and it does seem that she took a realm, a piece of the life realm, and locked it up, and locked it in around each planet. You know, so she like binds a, a, a or right. So if the Emerald Dream is a planet free growing, she goes in there and goes, ah, 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 we can't do all of this. I gotta trim it. I gotta trim the garden. She's the gardener. All right, and that's it. That's the Titans. That's what this one had me thinking about. But the Titan conspiracy is out. Now next week I'm gonna get back to the Rechronicle series. I'm going to read parts of the Chronicles. The next part I'm at, and this part is gonna consist of uh, almost the. It, it is the ordering, I believe. Or, no, it's the origin. So, it's we're going to be talking about the origins of the Titans. And if you read it, and you think about it through what is actually... Be, what are they telling us? What's the spin they're putting on it? But what if it went differently? Kind of thing. Kind of like what Dagron was talking about. So, we'll have to see what the Titans have uh, been hiding from us. But I'm happy the t Titan Conspiracy's out. I'm happy it's finally out. And uh, I can't wait for two weeks to see where we go from here. Do we get a six? Or does Brynth get their memories back? We'll see you next time. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.